Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a histogram, an overlay histogram of two categories with a scale variable uh, using Jupyter Notebook uh, with Python 3 uh, and I will create something like this. I'll restart my kernel just uh, so that we can start from the beginning and all the way to the beginning. So. Uh, this is one that I would use if I have a single scale variable and I want to compare two um, two categories in there. To show you how that works, I'll need an example which I'll be loading in as a pandas data frame. So I'll need to install pandas if you've never done that before. And then load the library, shift enter. Then load my example file which is uh, a CSV file. So I'll be using read CSV and I'll show with head the first five records. Now, uh, for this example, as a binary field, so the one that has two categories, I'll be using gen gender because it only had two categories there, and as a scale, the overall grade, so over grade with an underscore. So my, uh, my bin uh, category, my binary category is gen gender, so that was the name of the variable, and my scale variable is the overall grade. Shift enter. So let's have a quick look at that binary field. I can use value count and that will show me uh, each unique possible score in there, which were male and female and have 34 males and 12 females. We need to separate those scores uh, for each category. So uh, one way of doing that, if you know another way, let me know, is to say, well, my cat equals uh, my bin and um, as long as that's in my category 1 are the values of my binary if that equals male and the other one if that equals female. So that will give me actually as you can see a list of booleans with true or false for uh, well for male if I use my get1 and my get2 will be for the females. Then I can use that to select those so only if it's true my get1 then it will actually select the one for my scales and I'm dropping any missing values. So that works out for my scores. Now I have two separate uh, groups, one for the first category and one for the second category. Then I can use pyplot. Um, again, if you never used that before, you can use pip install matplotlib. And if you have used it before and it's already installed, you only need to load it using the import and I'm going to use PLT as an abbreviation so I don't have to type all of this every time. Then to create a histogram there are f uh, we can use the hist function and there are a few parameters uh, to actually uh, set here. I like to set the edge color so that I clearly see the borders for each bin. Uh, alpha is how much blending I want to do so some sort of transparency if you will. The bins is to indicate how you want to bin the data so there's separate documentations of histogram uh, and a separate video on uh, which options you can actually use there and label so that you also have a legend uh, for the histogram. I also like to see which color is which so I like to add the legend option and label my axis using X label and Y label. So if I do all of that uh, I've set everything up here um, so my edge color is blue, I'm using 50% uh, for my transparency basically. Uh, I selected my bins at intervals of 10. Uh, I label my both my categories. Um, I want the legend to be in the upper right corner and this, if I run all of that, I nicely get the histogram with an overlay in them. So there were no males in the first category, 15 to 25. Uh, there were a few, uh, actually only one female and there were two males and this way you can have a look at both at the same time and how they compare to each other. I actually prefer them as uh, percentages, so to get them as percentages there are a few different ways but an easy method is to use the NumPy library. So again, if you've never used that, install it first with pip install and then load it using import NumPy as NP just to abbreviate NumPy even further. Then uh, to create a NumPy array that's just filled with ones, uh, I can do that by using ones uh, from NumPy. So 
and I needed to match the length of the score. So cat1, that's the first category, and then just ones, uh, just to give it a name. So that's going to be my numpy ones with a length of the same length as my first scores. So this should give me a list of ones, and there should be the same amount as in my original first category. Then to have the weights for the percentages, we divide this by the number of scores again and multiply by 100. And that actually gives the percentage for each individual separate uh, score. So I can now say, well, I use my cat once, um, then I take the length and I multiply by 100, and that will give me my cat weights. So each individual score is actually 3 point, well, 3 one third percent. So if I sum this all up, it should come back to 1, but there might be a small rounding error, as you can see here. But uh, that's just rounding errors. Uh, we can do all of the same for the second category, so let's do that. And then finally we can uh, use these instead of the original score. So here I'm using the uh, those as weights. So as you can uh, see in here, I'm now actually uh, going to set all the way at the end weights equals get one uh, weights and weights for the second one is of course get two weights now the label is also adjusted to percent and there I have my nice little histogram usually we then report the shapes of each uh, as a small comparison and then later we can for example test if the averages are significantly different or some other things you might want to test on I hope this video was helpful.